Terry. Angeli. I've been thinking about a question and it's to do with how we have come to perceive of this world and trying to do things in, the, in an order to reach a perfection. Uh -huh. And to the extent that that perfection or that attachment to perfecting things becomes obsessive. Where does that come from and what can one do about it? Well, um, it's a, it's a well-known statement uh, among, uh, that I've heard from many creative people, both in visual and uh, uh, oral arts, uh, that perfection is the enemy of the good. Mm. And that if you keep working something to try to make it perfect, it either won't get done or it will be done somehow badly. So yes, uh, often perfection is the enemy of the good. But more often than not, practically speaking, and I've seen this in terms of people in the work environment, and I've seen this in terms of people in relationships, uh, as well as other settings, and that the principle that I see is that by looking for perfection, you're really putting off dealing with whatever reality one has. This is most common, uh, in my experience, uh, in the dating world, mm. where people will not want to date someone unless they can find someone who checks all the boxes. And as a result, they never have to confront anyone. They never have to open themselves up or expose themselves. So uh, I think that works across the board in settings that are both uh, professional and romantic. So it's interesting that you say it's about dealing with something uncomfortable. And I feel expecting perfectionism from anything is, is showing a part of ourselves which we don't want to deal with. Yes, I think that that's right. Uh, and from a uh, spiritual or philosophical perspective, uh, perfection is something that, that we can't have, mm -hmm. that's out of our hands. And that's why, and I'm thinking of some uh, uh, beautiful um, uh, Persian designs in the Middle Ages where, where they necessarily made a flaw in the design. Right. As an expression that, no, it was not perfect because in their perspective, there was one only, mm -hmm. only one perfection. That's true. So, yes, um, for many reasons, the perfect is the enemy of the good. So what can be done when someone is expecting things to be perfect or let's take, for example, a flower arrangement and one is trying to perfect that? How can, at what point one can see and acknowledge that, oh, I'm trying for perfection when it really can't be reached? Right, uh, and I think that perfection um, is not reachable if the design or the piece or the artwork tends to be about the artist rather than about the objective. Mm -hmm. So you might say to that, that person, you're trying to put too much of yourself into it. Let it be what it is. Show us what it is in its own self, in its own nature. You're, don't try to make it into something mm -hmm. that you think is perfect because it's your creation. Let it be what it is. Very good. Thank you. Make sense? Yes, it does. Good.